Okay, this video here is for uh, Big Pete. This is your Wii uh, system and the configurations. Um, so basically, once you get it, you hook it up. Um, you go here to um, the Homebrew channel. Click there. Click Start. It'll load up all the emulators on there. You've got the uh, USB loader for the Wii games. Nintendo emulator for the uh, old school Nintendo games. You've got the uh, Genesis emulator. Um, this one I'm going to remove because it doesn't work that well. Um, you've got the Super Nintendo, the uh, Virtual Boy, the uh, Game Boy Advance games, and Game Boy and Game Boy Color, and then the um, Nintendo 64. So let's go into the first one. This one here, you just click, hit load, let it load up. So it'll load up all the Wii games there. This is uh, hard drive number one, which is the um, the older games, and hard drive number two is more the uh, current games and everything just released up to last week, um, October 1st. So this is everything you just go through there. You see one you want, you want to find more information about it, uh, I believe it's... Nope, that's not it. Uh... Oh, you click up. That'll show you the back cover, if there is any. And then you can also change like the views. Let's see it different ways. This one kind of gets me dizzy. Uh, but there are different ways you can view them. So, find the game you want. Um, in this case, let's choose a door game. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Choose a door game. And choose a door game. Any game. Um, what you want to do is press one for options. And this is what I always do. I always make sure that this video says uh, Force NTSC because sometimes it's um, a PAL game. And if you don't choose this option, then you're going to get uh, the game is either going to be black and white or you're going to have um, flickering of colors or something. So I always choose that. And um, this, I always turn this on typically. Um, turn that on. And then over here, if this says, um, see where it says ALTDOL, zero found. So if it says zero found, just leave it alone. But if it says uh, one found, then just uh, select it. You can just use the, um, the arrow keys and select that doll. Basically, basically that doll is the, uh, the boot file that it needs. So um, just select that boot file. If it doesn't need anything, if it says zero found, then just leave it as is. Um, and then once you're done with these settings, just hit 2 to save, and you never have to do it for that game. So, uh, just hit 2, there you go, option saved, and then you can just press A, and it'll boot up the game. There you go, so, the game is booted up. Alright, let me just close it before my daughter sees it, and she'll want to play it. Once you're back here, you can go here again. I'm going to show you uh, one of the emulators because basically they're all the same. Um, everything works the same exact way. Uh, let's choose um, Super Nintendo load. There you go. It, lo it should load up uh, the uh, game menu. Um, you just select through there, go through the list, uh, you can just grab this and figure it down. Find whatever game you want. There's your game, Zelda's, all the Zelda games, I know you like those. Um, you can just choose Kirby Dreamland, press A. And it loads up. Um, to get out of the game, to go back to the select menu, I think it's... Okay, so you press the uh, home button which is the center button here you press that it takes you back here you can save the game you can load a previously saved game game settings you can reset the game you can go back to the main menu 
hit OK, and you can select another game. Um, if you hit exit here, I believe it takes you back to, uh, oh, it takes you back to here, okay, that's good. And then from here you can just, you know, keep on choosing uh, Genesis, uh, I know you wanted to check this out, so. Um, like I said, with the 64, some of them work okay, uh, some of them won't load, or if they do load, um, they'll have like, missing backgrounds or it won't look right but um uh like the mario and uh, smash brothers and some other ones that i do play on this work fine so i'll hit load rom you want to select from sd all the games are stored on the sd card and you just go through the list find the game you want um uh, what is it mario mario kart um let's Let's see if that works. So once it loads up, hit OK here, and you want to play game now. And my battery's dying, so I'm not sure if it's going to be able to record. Okay, so there it goes. So. Alright, that's basically it.